we're just going to create a way that we can become better songwriters and actually have fun again as songwriters. And in that moment, that was the very beginning of iHeart Songwriting Club. And, and for those of you who can see my screen here, I really want to share this because I think this is kind of like the biggest change um, from the way I used to write to the way that I do and actually um, maybe demonstrates creative freedom in Diagram. So um, in the past, I would go to write and I would hit a block. And in this block, you know, we'd be feeling like that's not good enough. How could I ever release that as a single? No one will ever want to play that on radio. That's not good enough. They're the type of messages that were going through my head. I would walk away from the creative practice because I didn't know how to actually work past that. When I walked away, I would be telling myself all sorts of messages that would be confirmed, right? Because I would tell myself, I can't do this. And it was confirmed that I couldn't do this. And then I would develop this fear of writing, this, this actual fear of songwriting, which would lead to procrastination and then some time would pass. And then, you know, some time would pass and I would actually probably be inspired again. I would have that inspiration hit and I would go to write, okay? So I'd hit a block and then that would continue and I would feel like, well, you know, nothing's happening here. And I thought in this creative wasteland, nothing was happening, but it wasn't true. It wasn't true at all because what was happening was that I was, what was growing was this huge debilitating sense of fear and anxiety and self doubt around who I was and whether I was able to make music or not. And I realized that at the lowest part here, it was the pain of not writing that was actually greater than the pain of writing is when I changed things and when I turned things around. So I'll say that again, the pain of not writing, the struggle, the judgment, the, the fear, the anxiety of not writing became greater than the actual struggle to write. And that's when I changed things for myself. Now, I'm not saying you have to get to that point. Let's move past. Let's not even ever get to that point, right? You can just start to change this around now. So this is what I did different. So instead of feeling inspired and going to write, I would now put time aside. So with my student in that moment, when I created a club, it would be like, we're both gonna write a song this week in an hour. And I guided her and myself with that, that we would have to sit down and work within boundaries. Um, okay, one of the boundaries was we had to write a song in an hour. One of the other boundaries is we had to become really childlike in the process to uncover and become curious and create, to see what would be possible, what would be, um, what we could like invent in that time essentially. So we would write. now. I'm not saying the blocks were gone. They weren't. We'd hit a block. Now, we were doing our own individual writing. I would hit my block. But then I would use some of those guidelines and boundaries that I had set as sort of like almost like the rules of engagement for the club, really. And that was to get really curious and innovate and do things in new ways in order to move past and finish the song. And now straight away in I Heart Songwriting Club, when you finish the song, you're meant to share it with your peers. Now those peers are other songwriters and those other songwriters can give you real feedback on your songs. And really what it is, is immediate relief from the doubt that we can have around our ideas. Immediate relief from the stress and the judgment that we can have around our ideas and our song. So if you watch the screen, cause I made a really pretty video, not video, but uh, screenshot here, is when you keep doing that week after week, something does actually change and you start to blossom and things start to become more enriched and things start to really become fruitful. And the next thing you know, you've created this garden of creative ideas and some of those, those products of the garden are just weeds and they're meant to just be there to prop up the garden so that those daisies, those roses, those tulips really stand out they're the gems, they're the reason that, well, they're, they're, they're what you're going to pick off and take to radio stations and show to others. But the whole garden is really important. It's a truly important part of the process.